comments, we can start with Councilman Palella. Thank you. Uh, I know it's been a long meeting, so I'll make this uh, very short, but uh, I would like to respond uh, uh, to the comments that were made uh, uh, about me at the June 16th uh, meeting, um, which had to do with my character. I've been a resident of Brigantine since 1979. That's 31 years. I'm married to my wife, Isabel, for 30 years, and I have three children who are who are in attendance here this evening. Excuse me. Anyway, my children were born and raised in Brigantine, and it's the town that we love. Well, I, um, I'm unable to go on. Uh, I believe my wife, uh, made some comments I didn't realize she was going to make tonight. <clears throat> but anyway, I think I can go on. Um, our children were born and raised in Brigantine. It's the town that we love. During our children's formidable years, um, uh, I can't continue, but um, for the people that know me, uh, they know that I'm a family man, uh, I work hard. Um, I think that Councilman Storino um, stepped out of line at the last meeting. Um, these are very personal comments that he made uh, uh, about my character. Um, I'm, I'm proud of the accomplishments I've made as a, as a husband, a father, a business owner and an elected official in this town. And um, I thank the people that elected me. I will continue to represent you to the best of my ability. And um, I will never use this dais to attack anybody personally. Um, I apologize for being choked up. Um, I, I had a prepared statement that I wanted to make um, the Paula family, I believe, has been a big contributor to this community. We've, we've spent a lot of time, effort, and money here. We've contributed to just about every organization on this island. Um, we've contributed in, in many ways. My wife started the ministry youth group when our kids were in, uh, in grade school. She's been a... Uh, served on the uh, church council, served on the uh, Holy Spirit uh, Board of Trustees. So we're a family that has contributed to this community. I apologize, um, I'm a little choked up. Um, I love Brigantine. Uh, I think that what I'm bringing to this community is what has been needed here for many years. And that is challenge to the status quo. Challenge to a one-party system. Has nothing to do with Democrat and Republican, as we all know. I'm a former Republican who decided to run as a Democrat to challenge the people that are running this community. Not because they're bad people, but because everyone needs to be challenged. Whether it's politics, whether it's sports, no matter what it is, we all need to be challenged. I never wanted to run for government, but I thought it was time that this community would have a two-party system where people would know both sides of every issue, not just one side of an issue. I make no excuses for being a business person and making mistakes. I've made mistakes, but I've never hidden from my mistakes. If I've made a mistake, I've paid the consequence for it. So I'm proud of what I've accomplished in Brigantine. I hope that I've made Brigantine a better place, a better place to live. And I will continue to serve the people that have elected me unwaveringly, and I will always live up to the platform which I ran on. 
and I think in the past year and a half, I've demonstrated that I have been up here conducting city business, representing the taxpayers, all the taxpayers, not the people that have lived here for 40 years and 50 years, but all the taxpayers, the people that spend uh, money and, and pay their taxes here, whether you've been here for one year or 10 years, you should all be treated the same. That's part of my platform. And this is the mindset that has to change. City council people shouldn't distinguish a resident that's been raised and born here or been here for 40 years and not give the same uh, opportunity and the same respect to the people that may only be here for five and 10 years. This is the difference between some of my fellow council members and me. This is one of the reasons why I ran for office. I make no excuses for anything that I've ever done as a business person, as a husband, or as a father. Um, this was not quite my prepared speech. I apologize for having been choked up. Um, I know it's been a long meeting, uh, but I just wanted to um, talk about the things that uh, the Palala family has done here to try to make Brigantine a better place uh, for everyone on the island. And, and I thank you for attending these meetings, and I hope that you continue to attend, because when, when you show up and you discuss the issues that are on your mind, um, we're supposed to listen. We are here to represent you, and that's what I try to do. Thank you very much. Any other council comments? Ed, I just wanted.